Okay, so uh, in this tutorial we're going to look at um, self-portraits. Um, so you're going to be taking some photographs uh, of ourselves and then we're going to be manipulating them using the edit tool in um, the uh, camera roll app on your phone, either your iPhone or Android. So a couple of things before we start. <clears throat> First of all, you need to be standing uh, in front of a plain background, a plain light background. Um, you could try this with a dark background, there's no reason why not, but we're gonna, we're gonna start by doing it this with a, with a light background. And so I'm just standing next to a wall. There should be nothing in the shot, okay? So there should be nothing in the frame of the photograph. So no pictures on walls, no patterns, no tiles, nothing. It should just be a plain white background. If you haven't got a plain light background, then maybe you could stick some paper up on the wall um, just to give it that light background, or you could, you could even stand in front of a, um, a a blind or a curtain or something that's that's that's, that's white. Maybe even a, a door. But my walls, this color is is great. The other thing I want you to do is make sure that you're wearing a dark uh, dark top, um, t-shirt, jumper. Hoodie, um, whatever it is, needs to be dark. Um, we'll see. You'll see why later, because we're going to be putting some text onto the images. Um, so we need a, uh, some some dark background on which to put them on. So to ensure we've got that, we're going to be wearing some dark clothing, um, like I am. Um, and obviously, we've got a light background because we, we we can put dark text onto a light background as well. The next thing before we start. Um, is we're going to change to we're going to switch to square setting. So on my iPhone, I've got a square setting. Hopefully, you've got something similar on your your Android uh, phone. So we're going to switch to a square setting for this, just for this um, tutorial. Okay, so self portrait. So what I want you to do is take um, quite a few self portraits in different different angles, different shots. We're going to have our head to the side. We're going to have we were looking up. We're going to be looking down, down to the side. We're going to be looking away. We're looking at the camera as well. So first of all, we're going to start just with a with a with a um, a forward on shot, uh, facing forwards. Now composition is very important, as we know. So your head needs to be in the centre of of the frame. Our frame is square, so I'm in the centre. Got a bit of a gap above my head. Bit of a gap below my chin about the same you can see i've got my top my shoulders in here and here creating that kind of shape um, i'm holding the camera with both hands i'm pressing the uh, the the button with my index finger on my right hand and i'm going to just take one picture first of all just look straight under the lens and that's our first one done i'm going to go to my camera roll just check it lovely look at that so next we're going to do a side shot we're going to look at the side now obviously what you're going to try and do is you can try and look at the composition at the same time as looking to the side but when you take the photograph you can do a photograph when you're looking at the, at the lens but we're also going to do one when we're looking away so you've got to kind of hold your finger over the over the the button ready to press it before you look away um we're going to be looking the other direction we're going to, i'm going to look kind of up this time and I'm going to be looking, do one of looking down. Now, when you look down, the top of your head will come forward, the, the composition will change. So I'm going to make sure that I've got the right composition this time. I'm looking down. My head was slightly to the side that time, that's fine. Um, up into the corner, as I'm looking up into the sky. Okay, and the last one is going to do one. So I'm, I'm going to move the camera down. I'm trying not to get my my ceiling in if I can help it you see my head gets a bit smaller so this time I'm going to look out take that shot as well have a little bit of fun with the images as well um, different poses different expressions different different moods looking concerned looking you know looking away looking happy looking sad really kind of try and express yourself in those photos so I've got a few photographs there to play with. Beautiful, look at those. I also took some earlier as well. 
Like I said, I've got quite a few photographs there that I can manipulate and play with. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start with this one looking down. It's quite a nice shot. Again, composition. If the composition isn't right, you might want to change it. So you want to change the uh, change the composition. You might want to take it again. So obviously, if it's blurred, if it's if you've moved the camera while you've been taking the photograph. Sorry. First of all, what I'm going to do is the the, the, um, the blue square with the arrow pointing up at the bottom left hand corner. I want to duplicate that. Should have two. If you can see it. There we go. I'm going to go to edit. So first thing I'm going to do, as I've done before with the hands, is I'm going to change the, give it a filter. I'm going to go for dramatic warm. I quite like that kind of that tint, that kind of pinky kind of orangey tint. Then to adjustments, and again, same thing. We're going to really play and really push the limits of what the edits can do. Now, what this time I'm going to just as, just as a Matter of interest, I want to take the exposure right down and I'm going to take the brilliance right up. Yeah, I like that effect. Highlights, I want it light a bit lighter, so the highlights are right up. Shadows, right okay. So you can see he's picking up my picking up my gray hair there, but I quite like that. I quite like that kind of how the white really pops out of the photograph now. Really like that. Um, the contrast, again, play around with the contrast. If I take the contrast right up, again, I like that. The contrast is right up, really like, almost like a sepia effect. Again, brightness. You can see that my beard and my gray hair is really popping out now. So I'm, I'm gonna, do, on purpose, I wanna take the brightness quite down quite a bit so that I get those rich kind of brown kind of colors. The black point. I'm going to use that just to take a little bit of black out of the image. I want to take the black point right down. Saturation. We'll just get rid of the colour or put a lot of it in. Yeah, I quite like that kind of nutty, kind of brown colour I'm getting now. Uh, the vibrance doesn't really do much, so I'm going to leave that at zero. Warmth. Oh, warmth does a lot now. Wow. Okay, so I've, I've either got this very warm kind of almost like on it's not like a like a fire's burning nearby that kind of umber orange or i've got this kind of greeny kind of background which i i like that green and i'm kind of like that's all the highlights on my shoulders there as well as i'm like i'm glowing i like that tint i'm i'm not going to use it if you see the tint will turn it either put a lot more green into that image or a lot more red so I'm going to leave that zero because I'm happy with the color. The sharpness, the sharpness actually, you can see that the changes in my in my hair in particular. I quite like the sharpness being right up. Look, so I can I get more those those highlights, those white highlights in my hair. I get more of that, so that's right up. Definition, definition. I'm going to push right up as well. It might pixelate the image like, but I quite like that. Noise reduction. I quite like the noise, and the noise means that there's lots of little speckles in the image, but I quite like that effect. There's, there is lots of little speckles in the image. And then the vignette. I'm gonna leave the vignette out, because I quite like my green background. And that's it. So I'm gonna press done. So let's have a look at the other photo. Let's have a look at the original. Which one? That's the original photo there. And let's have a look at the photo we've created. Look at the difference. Look at what I've done. Really, really push the limits of that, of that editing um, tool. Um, and that's really what I want you to do is really push the limit of these tools. Let's try one more. Let's try this one I'm looking up. So I'm going to duplicate it first of all. So I've got a spare copy if I want to go back and do something else to it. Edit. So I'm going to go for warm this time. Adjustments. So exposure. 
I'm going to push the exposure down again. I quite like the effect that gave me. The brilliance. Again, I'm going to take the brilliance right down as well. See what happens. Highlights. Not doing much. If I go towards the top, it does make it slightly brighter. Shadows. Let's see what happens when I push the shadows right down. With the contrast, almost like a silhouette. I quite I like that. If I take the contrast right down, the image pops out again. My skin tone is kind of this kind of pink, and they've got these kind of glows, almost like brown glows behind my shoulders. I like that brightness. We can put some of the brightness back in. Do we need to? Do I need to? Mm, I, 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 you lose those glows that kind of like behind my shoulder. So. I'm going to take the brightness up a touch, but not much. Black point, see what that does. So you see when I take the black point right down, the black is not black anymore. The black is um, like a grey, a brownish grey. I'm, I'm, I, like, I want the black in there, so I'm going to take it. I'm going to make it slightly less. Saturation. Now, again, this is where we get a lot of color so saturation right down saturation right up so i quite like the saturation right up my face is like really really red now and now look with the vibrance the vibrance right up bright red i take it down look again it, it's, not, it's almost almost sepia slightly pink purple i like that i like the contrast between the, the yellow and that purple warmth whoa okay so if I take the warmth right out, I've got this kind of sp speckling effect on my face now. I don't quite like that. If I take it right up, look at my eye. My eye's now orange. I really like that. And the tint. So I can go from a bright yellow to almost like a pinky orange. I like the yellow. Uh, the sharpness doesn't really do much, but it puts that those highlights in on my hair again. Look, see the white against the, my hairline? The top of my hair I want that in definition mm, doesn't really do a lot so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna push it right up actually noise reduction I'm gonna keep that zero and the vignettes so either black or white whoa okay so you can see what that does I either get this black these black corners or if that's zero look there's nothing there. If I take it right down, minus, you can see I get those bright yellow corners. Really like that. It's almost like an orange halo behind my head. Happy with that. That's almost like an Andy Warhol pop art image. Again, let's look at the difference between there's my original and there's what I've created. Now, these two images look really nice images. And we're going to be creating some album covers with these so that we really want to push the limits of what you can do with the editing tool if i just come out of there and go into go into my camera roll you can see there how many i've got so i want you to do around 10 of those different poses you could go back to the same photograph again and change the settings and see what happens that would be that would be great as well but 10 different really extreme um, examples of self-portraits keep the original photograph so we can see what you've done um, yeah and maybe even record try and record what you did as well if you if you possibly can these are the kind of images we're looking for